This is the McDonnell Douglas MD11 by TFDI Designs on Microsoft Flight Sim. And it can be a bit intimidating when you first look at it, but that's why here I have a simple and easy quick start guide for you. Here we are in the flight deck of the MD11, so let's get started. Up top, we'll start with the battery, uncover it, click on it, cover it up. Next, we'll go external power, on, emergency power, armed. Nav one, two, and three in the up position, just like that. We'll then go down and get the emergency lights armed, which are right here. Use a scroll wheel to open that up. We'll also get our nav lights on and then continue to the right side and get our windshield heat on left and right. After you clear the master caution, you go down here ahead of the throttle and below the gear and click on the standby instrument. If you have that installed in your aircraft, click and hold it until that centers and then you can let go. Now let's load our aircraft. We can actually import our flight plan straight in from SimBrief. If you don't have a SimBrief account, go to SimBrief.com, make yourself an account, go over to the options tool and then go here under general and you can put in your SimBrief username. You can do the same thing with your Hoppy logon. You have to go to the Hoppy website, make an account and you get a logon for that. Make sure that your weights in units and your temperature in units is set to the same thing of the flight plan you've created in SimBrief. We'll hit save right here, and then we'll go back to dispatch. We'll click on import flight plan, and now our flight plan has showed up on our screen, and we'll do set payload and fuel. That's one single click to set all of your payload and fuel. If you want to do it manually, you can do that here on the payload screen. Obviously much quicker by this one button. We'll also click on the send flight plan to FMC. Again, you could do the flight plan manually, but the faster way is to click that button there. So let's go over to our FMC and finish the prep here. We'll click on the top left button, FMC-1, and then the bottom right button, flight plan in it, and then initialize our IRS. That's going to start the alignment process for our GPS and everything like that. And then you can see here our flight plan has been imported for our Ontario to Oakland for FedEx. We will be cruising at 34,000 feet, so we'll type in three or zero and that will go on the bottom second to bottom left here for cruise levels you can put multiples here if you want to do step climb so you do three four zero slash whatever slash whatever back to our efb we have our cost index ci 20 we'll go back down to our fms and we'll type 20 to zero and put that in the bottom right for our cost index that is all that is required for this page on to page two we'll hit the next page on the key and since everything is loaded up already all of the boxes just need to be filled. We'll click on the top right box for block fuel, 39.3. You want to make sure this matches what you expect. This is how much fuel you have loaded on the aircraft. Next, we have takeoff ground weight. We'll click right next to that. That'll clear. That'll fill those next three boxes. And then we have our takeoff CG. If you have an issue here where it says button ignore, just take a second, like two, maybe three seconds. Click it again. It should work. Now, zero fuel weight. Click on the box next to that, and you're good to go. All you need to do is click the boxes next to them and it basically auto fills. Page three is not necessary, but if you want to get down and dirty, you can do that as well. Let's go to our flight plan page by clicking on the flight plan button here. And as you can see, our flight plan has been imported except for our departure and arrivals. So we'll click on our departure airport of Ontario right here, the button next to that, and click again next to SID. That's our standard instrument departure. And again, all this information will be coming from your SimBrief flight plan. So for us, it's gonna be the Sunshine 5 departure via Forez. Click the button next to that. Our runway for departure will be 26 right. We'll click right next to that. And that is all, we'll hit insert. That is now filled in for our flight plan. You can see our Sunshine 5 departure is here. We'll scroll down with the up arrow and up with the down arrow. I know it's opposite. We'll find our arrival airport, which is Oakland. We'll click on the button next to that. So go ahead and load in our star, our standard terminal arrival. And for this flight, it's going to be the MZO 3. We'll click on that via our good. We'll click on that. And it's going to be the ILS 30. We'll click on the button next to that and then Printing transition and click that. Do not forget to press insert. And our flight plan is all in. It's good to go through this and make sure that everything that you want is in here, especially if you have a long haul. You don't want to be flying circles around the Atlantic Ocean. Trust me, I've done it. And next, we'll go to the TO APPR page, the takeoff approach page. And we need to fill out all of this information. And it's very easy. The way we'll do that is go back to our EFB and go to the perf page here in the top menu. And you can see here, it's already auto filled the information for our departure airport. And as you know, we're using two six right. We'll use the down arrow till we find two six right. There is a runway slope. We'll need that for later. And we'll click get weather information. 
There's our current weather here in Ontario. Now on the right side of the screen, we'll see we have a thrust setting of flex. Uh, no anti-ice for this flight. Flaps specific. We're going to set flaps 15. That is typical. And packs on. That is also typical. And we'll hit get takeoff weight. That gives you your current takeoff weight. Now let's go down to calculate. Next screen button that should populate down here our V speeds and our flex temp of 55 Celsius. So let's take that flex temperature of 55 Celsius and go back to our FMS and we'll type in 55 here and drop that on the top. Packs on, so click the button next to that for packs on. Flaps 15, 1, 5, and there we, there we go. V speeds were 1, 3, 5. Click there. 155166. So 155 VR and 166 V2. And now we need the runway slope and wind. So back to our EFB is 0.1%, that's negative, and a headwind of 7. So the way you type that in in the TFDI is negative 0.1 slash 7. And if you have a tailwind, you'll put a negative before that second number. We'll click right there, that puts that in. Our outside air temperature right here at 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So nine, zero, and then F, you'll use C if you're in Celsius. Now it wants us to check and confirm V speeds. You'll just basically click next to them. And there you go, they're now confirmed. All right, and we are all done in the FMS. So let's go up here and we'll get our barometric pressure here. We'll clear that master caution. From the EAB, we can see our barometric pressure is 2,900.75. So right up here above your main panel, we'll just use a scroll wheel to change that to 2,975. You can see that changing down there on your main PFD. And we'll stay up here on MCP, moving to the right. For departure, you'll basically leave this as 250 for the speed pre-selected. Your heading will be set to your runway heading for departure. Actually, we'll load our chart, view departure airport, powered by Navigraph. So you do have to have a Navigraph subscription for this to work. But wherever you find your charts, go to your airport chart. And right here underneath the runway number, you have 258. That is going to be your runway heading and your elevation 932. So 258 and 258 set. For us, our initial climb will be 4,000 feet. So I'm going to scroll this down to 4,000. And now that is all set. Let's go back up to the top and get our APU powered on. We'll click on the APU power switch right underneath the external power. That's going to flash green for a while and then eventually go solid green for a veil and it'll say on in blue. Once it does, we'll be free to disconnect the external power. There it is, it's powered on and it does take a while. So honestly, if you wanna do this right as you start the battery, you can do that. We'll turn our external power off, go back to our EFB, go to the services page and disconnect the GPU as well. Now let's set our flaps. Our flaps for takeoff will be flaps 15. So we're actually gonna scroll this dial of flap lever here to 15. So now that we have this set to 15, once you put your flap lever here into the dial of flap position, it will actually be flaps 15. If you change it to 16, it'll be 16. So whatever you have set here is what this area basically means. And then goes to the next notch for flaps 28, 35, and 50. Yeah, I know it's weird. All right, so passenger signs on and smoking signs on. Ignition A or B doesn't actually matter. We'll get our beacon lights on and down ahead of your throttle. You have your auxiliary hydraulic pump. You can get that on for the pushback. And now we are ready for push and start. And for pushback, we'll set our parking brake while they're connecting. Make sure our transponder is set. If you want to do a uh, squawk mode Charlie or transmit and receive, that's going to be all the way to the right scroll wheel there. Also on the EFB, make sure you have your wheel shocks removed or the pushback truck cannot push you back. Okay, brake set and pushback is complete. Obviously, you can start your engines during the pushback to save time. Uh, for the sake of the video, I waited. So, we'll start the engines in the sequence of 3, 1, and 2. So, we'll go click on the orange dial here. And that should light up orange there. And then we'll go and check our engine page here. You'll see we are getting into rotation at 15%. We will introduce fuel. There's 11, 12, 14, 15. There it is down here. We'll hit the fuel switch down here. Fuel on. We'll now start to get EGT rising, everything is looking good. And it's the same process for all three engines. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wait for that orange light to go out. Once that orange light goes out, you can proceed to the next 
engine. You don't necessarily need to wait for the engine to stabilize. So as soon as that orange light goes out, we'll pop uh, engine one. There it is, engine one, uh, three is popped off. We'll do engine one. And again, the exact same process. And engine one and two usually start a little faster than that first engine, or that third engine, I should say. 15% and fuel on. And for our final engine, 50% on and two will pop that final fuel on switch there for engine two. All right, as you can see here, all three orange lights have now popped off and we have three good starts. They are now stable around 25-ish, just under 26 in one. Now we'll go to the top here and we'll turn off our APU bleed that'll actually shut off the entire APU system for us. And back down here to our middle pedestal, we'll actually set our flap. So we have our dialer flap to 15, so we'll put it into the dialer flap range right there. And that'll move our flaps down to 15. While we're down here, we'll also set our spoilers by clicking up on it to arm them. Also behind the throttle is our auto brake. We'll set that to TO. And now we need to set our trim. If you want to do this manually, you can click this massive lever right here to change your trim up or down. I use a switch on my yoke. And right here is actually where the trim is showing. The trim we need is showing 4.5 stab trim. So here on our screen, we will hold our trim and see so we get to 4.5. Make sure you remain in the green and we're good. And a couple more things before we taxi. We'll either put nav or we'll arm our heading mode and it will hit profile. For our situation, we'll hit nav mode armed. We should see nav armed here on the PFD. And then profile armed. And we'll see profile armed on the PFD. And up top, we'll get our taxi lights on. So we'll do the white switch here. One click the taxi, and we'll also turn on our runway, turn off lights left and right. And that's it. We are ready to taxi, release our brakes, and let's go. FedEx 116 Heavy Ontario Ground, taxi to runway 26 right via November Whiskey. 26 right via November Whiskey, FedEx 116 Heavy. Clear for takeoff, runway 26 right, FedEx 116 Heavy. All right, we are clear for takeoff, so what we can do is get our landing lights to the on position. There we go. High intensity lights here on the end. We'll come on. That's our strobe lights. We'll begin to make our way onto the runway. Now, one thing you need to do, very important, is that you arm auto flight right here. This is basically your autopilot button. Click on that to arm that. And if you want to hide this EFB, you can just click on the little USB right there and it's gone. Runway is clear. We'll line up for 26 right here at Ontario. Heading over to Oakland for a short little hop. And what we'll do is once we get lined up, we'll run runway our throttles up to 70%. Left traffic, runway 36 cleared for takeoff. Making left traffic cleared for takeoff, runway 36, Skyline There we go. I right, holding the brakes down. I'm pushing my throttle about 70%. At around 70%, the uh, auto throttle should take over. If it doesn't, what I do, I just push my throttle full forward. Doesn't hurt it. All right, my throttles are full forward. Brakes are released. We are rolling forward. Let's go. A little bit of forward pressure there. Airspeed is alive. Here comes 89. Old center line, best we can here. There we go. Looking good. Good roll there. Here comes V1, there's V1, and rotate lightly coming back on the yoke. Doesn't take much pressure. Allow the aerodynamics to do its thing, and here we go. We are up. Positive rake here is coming up. There we go. Pitching for about 15 degrees, following the flight director. Once we get above 400 AGL, we can go autopilot on. To get your autopilot on, you click on auto flight. That is your autopilot. All right, we are now hands free. Matter of fact, I think it just failed on me. We'll click it again. There it is. Now it should be working. And it is. All right, we are now hands free. Gear is up. And we'll go flaps up when ready. All right, and flaps are coming up. There we go. 
All right, well, just saw my spoilers. Flaps are up, gear is up, autopilot is flying the aircraft. We are up, and that is how we do a quick start in the MD-11. Hopefully, this was helpful to you. Let me know if you like these quick start tutorial guides. And if you need any help, uh, let me know. Good luck on landing. My only tip I can give you is flare early. <laughs> Have fun with the MD-11 from TFDI. I'm loving it. Until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all. You got peace. Love and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.